So on to the second toe tag. <laughs> so we got Jim Panda, right? Now this has been going on for some time now. I think it's about six or seven weeks where Jim, Jim Panda right here claimed birds humping natural experiments, right? So, you know, these guys are right there, right? He mentioned, you know, birds. We want to see this one's getting his freak on. You know, we're looking for these, right? And I challenged him for six weeks concerning these guys. Say, I want to see it. And his whole point here is that he was talking smack about the scientific method. There's many different scientific methods, you know, that nonsense. Uh, and, you know, well, we can't. What he said here is we can't use that. And what he was referencing was the scientific method to do things like natural experiments. When we make, you know, large studies of, I don't know, you know, the breeding patterns of birds for existence, right? So he's trying to say that, well, this is still science. We just can't use the scientific method, right? And which is total nonsense. So I started calling them out. I wanted to see the natural experiments and I did for like six weeks. So when I was on Ranty's presenting, he was in the chat and he started saying, you know, well, he started giving me his rigmarole. I already presented you natural experiments, right? So that led to this. So in the original presentation, I, I presented, as soon as he said natural experiments, I said, okay, let's check these out. So we'll go from your alma mater wiki. Natural experiments are a different type of quasi experiment design used by researchers. It differs from person by person treatment in a way that there is not a variable that is being manipulated by the experimenter, right? We already know this is pseudoscience because it doesn't have an independent variable right off the bat. And you see this word right here? This gives the game away if you didn't catch this, right? Quasi from Oxford dictionaries, seemingly, apparently, but not really. Synonym, quasi, Merriam-Webster, pseudo, not real or genuine, sham, spurious. So this isn't an experiment, Gimp Panda, is the point I'm trying to make. Now, let's go to one of your peer-reviewed studies from the Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health. Let's read this. The term natural experiment lacks an exact definition. <laughs> red flags should be starting to pop up, right? My word, and many variants are found in the literature. The common thread in most definitions is that exposure to the event or intervention of interest has not been manipulated by the researcher. So we already know what this means. It's not an experiment. It doesn't have an independent variable, right? And like I told him, a lot of these natural experiments, quote unquote, they use in epidemiology, right? Suicide prevention, air pollution uh, control, public smoking bans, and al alcohol taxation. Does that sound like physics to you? Biochemistry to you? No. Well, there's a reason why it doesn't. My word. From the Encyclopedia Botanica, natural experiments are used mostly common, used most commonly in the fields of, like I said, epidemiology, political science, psychology, and social science. Right. Are these actual sciences? No. In other words, Jim Retard, natural experiments are not scientific experiments. Duh. Meaning, Mafly, it's not freaking science. That's my whole point. That's the whole entire point. So again, where's the birds humping natural experiment, Jim? I asked for this for about six weeks via Discord. He came out with a QE debunking video, right? This guy and his cronies couldn't debunk a soup sandwich. Showing 10 titles of paper, papers, just the titles of the papers. Wouldn't go into the paper because he doesn't know what he's reading. Exclaiming birds breeding natural experiments. And he thought he was good to go. Yep, QE is debunked. That's it. A friggin' clown. And this is what he said a week ago. Gimp Panda, he's QE, rejecting these natural experiments because I need to go through each one and show him the independent variable is, the dependent variable is, the hypothesis is, and all that. 
But of course, these natural experiments, they don't have these isolated variables because they're natural experiments. If I comply with what he's saying, I won't be giving him natural experiments and therefore I won't be complying with what he's actually asking me for. I mean, this guy is full on retard, brothers. This crayon munch has clearly laughably lost the plot. Jeremy, I wasn't saying that natural experiments of birds humping or crickets jerking off didn't exist. I was gently saying that it wasn't friggin' science. My word. You see this from the University of Rochester Physics Lab. The scientific method distinguishes science from other forms of explanation because of its requirement of systematic experimentation. So, Jeremy, to be science, it has to be experiment. But you already admitted up above that natural experiments are not experiments. You don't have any variables, right? You just train wrecked yourself above. Let's just do this for general purpose. So experiment, right? To be science, experiment from Penn State. What do you need? Every experiment, dependent, independent control variables. From the Institute of Physics, what do you need for the experiment? And a cause and effect relationship, which birds humping isn't. Independent variable, dependent variable, control variables. From Anne-Marie Helmstein, PhD, biomedical science, experiment, three types, controlled, independent, dependent variables. Looks like we're getting a repeating refrain here. From GCSE, chemistry, what are the three main variables? Scientific experiment, again, independent, dependent, controlled. Experiment, explorable.com, shocking, independent, dependent, and control variables in your experiment. From the National Science Teachers Association, scientific experiment. What a surprise. Sit down. Dependent, independent, con constants or control variables. From the University of North Carolina, experiment, independent, independent, dependent, IV, DV. You get it now? I doubt it. I truly doubt it. I'm done with you. I was done with you three years ago when you didn't know your ass from a damn pipe wrench. But now it's official. You've been toe tagged. Take a hike. That's it. Are you trying to say that a scientific experiment needs an independent variable, a dependent variable, and control variables? Is that what you're trying to say? It wasn't 100% clear. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm glad I summarized. You didn't make it that clear. <laughs> Jeez, oh man unbelievable I just want to add something to that which is to say that the, the fields of pseudoscience or quasi science are going to make it seem like they're science so they're going to use these terminologies very loosely and they're going to make it apply to their field because the word science is really powerful and if you haven't got it you're going to want to pretend you've got it so you're going to find this word experiment and science scattered all over the place. I've been looking to buy tires recently and on every other video the dude testing tires says let's do some science while he drives around a track. It's used and abused. The acid test is whether it's actually science. Does it have an independent variable, the thing you presume is going to cause the effect you observed in step one of the method? And if you vary and it does cause the effect, you've done science. If you don't, you haven't. Bullbusters assemble. Yeah, I think they just don't understand the difference between, like we've said a hundred times before, an observation or study, which is what ology is. I mean, I mean... When you have ornithology, bird, study of birds, it's the study of birds, not the experimentation of birds. And they don't even look at the terms that they use, ornithology. I mean, it, it's looking at something and observing it and studying it. That's not the experiment. That's not an experiment. And as you just said, calling it science is really disingenuous on one level or at least a lack of understanding or sloppy terms, those, none of those things are compatible with proving anything. 
So if they are saying they're doing science, then they have to be doing scientific method. And if they're not, they're just doing a, a study, an ology. And then they'll say, well, you're doing semantics now because apparently words don't have to have meaning anymore when we want to say something's a proof without meeting our own standards of it, which is what they do. So it's a tangled mess. That was a really good summary, Paula. Absolutely spot on. Thanks. Uh, I think they are mixing up the, the, the first step of the scientific method that you have to uh, observe a natural phenomena and that they think that that's a natural experiment follows. <laughs> I think that that's sometimes what they think. Which is dumb, of course. <laughs> Right, brace, brace yourself for wind noise. Adam, any comments? Um, yeah, I, I think, to be honest, Paula told my thunder exactly the point. All I was thinking as John was going through that was if I'd have tried to submit any paper back in the day uh, or put any report in like that and titled it experiment, I'd have been given short shrift and informed it was a study. It's an observational thing that's going off there. And it, it's, again, not using the word science, but using the word experiment here and the, the validity that they, of what an experiment is. And you can understand why the ornithologists and the likes are quite happy to grab onto uh, the word experiment to superficially validate what they're studying. Um, so you can see why there's not the critique within the discipline itself. Um, but again, it's it's a dilution of the true meaning to try and bump up some validation or claim that, that they that they're falsely labelling. Um, and I think I'd echo Paula's word. It is that the way this should be labelled is is a study of birds humping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The the thing is, if you're a fraudster, you don't tend to want to call yourself fraudster. You want, to call it, you want to call yourself accountant or lawyer and then you want to use some of their terminologies but it doesn't make it so. Now the fact that it's tolerated in academia in the modern times is neither here nor there. The reality is the terminology they're using is inaccurate and a hijacking of an empirical method and why would you want to use that terminology? Well because it's an empirical method so as soon as you use those words people will instinctively believe that you've proven what you say when in fact you've just done a study yeah exactly it's just a, a second grade linguistic word game to try to fool you because as soon as you say words people get mental pictures right i don't know about others but i do if you say a word i'm gonna get a picture of what you're talking about if you say science to me i immediately think experiment that's immediately where i go right Right. Experimental validation. This is true. This is valid. That's what I think about. I don't know about anyone else. Well, they tie it to the pictures as well. So when you see a picture of the blue marble, it'll often have the word science in the sentence. Mm. 